Hey! In this tutorial I'll show you how to customize the outgoing emails sent by HivePress and its extensions. As you can see, I have a local WordPress installation along with the default listing Hive theme and its demo content imported. Also, I have a local email testing tool that will display all the outgoing emails sent by HivePress. Ok, let's start with sending an email notification just to check how it works. For example, let's reply to some listing and check if the listing also receives an email notification. Here is an email notification about a new message sent to the listing author. Now, what if you want to change the email content? For example, customize its text or formatting. It's pretty easy and doesn't require any coding skills. You can do this in the HivePress Emails section. by adding a new email that will override the default email notification sent by HivePress. In the title field, you can enter the email subject. And here, in the editor, you can define the email content. As you can see, there are a few formatting options that you can use. Also, you can switch to the code editor and use the HTML code in the email content. Now, by selecting an event for your custom email, you override the selected email notification. For this one, we'll select the message received event. Once you select an event and save changes, you can also check the available email tokens. While the email content is static, tokens allow you to add some dynamic details and personalize email notifications. Let's add some of the available email tokens and save changes. Now, Let's send the same email notification again and check if its content is changed. As you can see, we have successfully overridden the email subject as well as the email content. In this way you can customize the email subject and its content for any email event by simply using available email tokens and formatting options. But let's imagine that you want to add a common email template for all email notifications sent by HivePress instead of the plain text. The easiest way to do this is to override the email template with the child theme. As you can see, I have an already created child theme but you can use any of the available WordPress plugins to generate a child theme with one click. Or, if you are a more advanced user, you can create it manually. As you probably know, in order to override any of the available HivePress templates, you have to create a HivePress directory within the child theme folder. Now, let's check where the email template is stored in HivePress and copy it, keeping the same file path. Ok, now our copied template file overrides the default one and we can easily customize it. For example, let's add our own HTML layout to the email template. I have already found a free responsive HTML email template and copied it. Please follow the link in the description if you want to use the same one. Now 
let's insert the email content output somewhere in the template. Finally, let's send the same email notification and check the custom email template we added. As you can see, instead of the plain text, there is now a simple HTML template that you can easily customize by editing the template file we added previously. In the same way, you can use any other responsive email templates of your choice. The last topic I would like to cover is adding custom email tokens. It requires some coding skills, but once you get the idea, you'll be able to customize any of the Hivepress emails. So, let's add a custom token so you can get a better understanding of how it works. The first thing you need to do is add a custom code snippet that will filter the email parameters. You can do this by adding a custom filter to the corresponding email hook. All the email hooks are named in the same way, and the only different part is the email name. You can easily check the email name in the Hivepress or the extension directory depending on the email subject. So, we have added a custom function that filters the email parameters and if you want to add a custom token, you can do this by setting it in this way. Now, let's add this token to the email content and check if it's replaced with the corresponding value. That's it! As you can see, our custom token is successfully replaced. Keep in mind that you can add any custom token to any of the available Hivepress emails by following these steps and eventually personalize every email notification. That's all for today. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or you can follow the link in the description to learn more about Hivepress. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more developer tutorials.